What's going on everybody? It's Mike here and I got John right over here. AXC Garage, welcome back to the channel. And today is a little early. It's a Sunday morning at about 6.53 and we'll be driving for more or less about an hour already. We got another 25 minutes to go and we got a special mission today. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You know, we decided we'd take out the next gen integra and put on the road for a little road trip 29 miles an hour 29.6 that's yeah, really 29. good 29.6 miles per gallon we're, we're getting there man this thing is in comfort mode and slow boy mode you know very very comfortable but uh yeah mike uh mike hit me up the other day he's like you want to take a little road trip we got a little special mission to go on and i said man say less i'm on i'm there so what is it we're doing mike well it is pretty pretty special so Greg reached out to us. He goes, listen. Greg, uh, happy-go-lucky spoon FK8? Yep, yep. Okay. And, and you know, he'd been building his FK8 LE for the longest time with spoon everything. Yeah, like and everything. Everything. And we'll talk a little bit more about it when we get there. And that's this is exactly where we are going. But he is the very, very first FK8 Civic Type R, on top of it, it's the limited edition. On the limited that edition, That is yeah. certified by Spoon. Oh, so that means he's gonna get the... The plaque. The plaque? Ooh. You know, I've only seen that plaque on one car. It was an EK4 and it was done at Type 1. That's pretty cool. So, what's important is that, that in order for you to, it, it's pretty prestigious thing to have. I can't just buy one. You, you can't just do that. And the, the amount of effort he put in to build this car is just incredible. Now, we're about, again, about 23 minutes now away from, you know, the location we're going to meet up. And obviously, we're going to walk the guy through and have a conversation with him. And he's going to pretty much tell you the backstory of how he built this car. And actually, he started to build before that. He did. He We are actually... He did it with a white FK8, and the opportunity to buy an LE came up, and this man said, let's do it again. It's a really, really cool journey. Yeah. I'm just happy because we are involved. Yeah, we were able to have a pretty big part, and Brian and Paint Society, uh, you know, and you, Mike, working with him on that car, Really, really awesome deal. The body work, I think, was one of the hardest parts of it. We had our buddy Ariel did a lot of the mechanical work on it. Yeah. And it was it's a group effort, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. So we're not far away. Stay tuned with us, and we're going to show you guys a lot more in just a little bit. Well, guys, there you have it. This is Greg, 2021 Honda Civic uh, Type R Limited Edition with pretty much the entire Spoon catalog. 
Greg, I appreciate you giving the opportunity to film this and also be a part of this amazing build. Now, before we jump into this car here, you started this spoon build on, the, on a previous Civic Type R. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, sure can. I had a 2019 Championship White um, FK8, and that had a lot of spoon parts. In fact, you guys did a great video um, on the bumpers, and uh, Brian did an amazing job on that. And a lot of those parts that were on that um, actually made their way onto this build. And, uh, and from there, we actually, you know, there's a few more that have come out since, and uh, kind of snowballed a little bit mm -hmm. and decided to take it to where you see it now. Well, before we talk about all the incredible part that you put, put on this car here, um, I want to go and talk about what is Spoon Certified? What, what, what is the requirement? Well, basically, Spoon Certified, I mean, you see, well, you've seen the badges on, uh, they put it on a lot of their parts, and it's just their way of, you know, certifying that this is basically, in their opinion, the best parts that they make, um, that they can make. So to certify the vehicle, they basically require you to have um, enough parts, generally the entire catalog, so that they can certify that after having all these parts that they produce for the vehicle, it will actually make that vehicle essentially its ultimate performance, you know. So, and the other, the other deal you have to do is you need to purchase all of these parts from um, Spoon Sports USA directly or one of their authorized dealers so that they can verify that the parts are all authentic and have been purchased through the proper channels. Yeah, I think that's extremely important. And in case if there are issues, not that it would, you can get all your warranty right there by Spoon USA. Yes, that's correct. Now, let's talk about the car. On the outside, I know you got a bunch of little things. Uh, right right out of the pictures, I can see the SW388. Like, let's walk me through, Greg. I mean, what, what do you have on the outside? And then, and then after this, we'll walk into the engine bay and also to the interior. Yeah, no problem. You're right. So the SW388s, just, I mean, obviously just an iconic wheel. And I, I love them. So simple, you know, just but beautiful. Um, you know, the little things, like you said, you got the center caps. I do not have the decals on these, um, just because that's a personal preference. But I got the spoon chromoly lug nuts. I guess you call it the uh, exterior, but you can see I do have the spoon brake pads. I do see those brake pads, uh, yeah. There's, there's brake lines tucked under there too. Um, you know, I had the aero mirrors. That was one of the newer parts. That's something that was since the white car. And uh, once again, you guys painted those for me. They came out beautiful as well. Um, obviously, you can't miss the wing is just, it's still one of my favorite parts. I mean, I guess they're all my favorites, but. Yeah. <laughs> but the wing is just unmistakable. And. Uh, this carbon fiber wing is just beautiful. And, and it has so much adjustability, you know, for, I guess, the, just the downforce. It really does. I mean, I, I have mine set, I mean, just to the middle point, fingered, you know, for my needs. It's just more, you know, just, just local driving primarily. You know, that works, you know, plenty well for me. Um, but you can see, so I got the, the carbon, carbon diffuse model of the, uh, the rear aero bumper. And again, the carbon, to me, it just, it's, it's beautiful. It yeah, really that's, that, that really stands out. That really stands out. Obviously, I've seen uh, your, your, your exhaust right there. Yes. <laughs> and the attention to detail, even the license plate is spoon themed. <laughs> that is pretty incredible. Pretty, pretty incredible. So now we're rolling to uh, the front of the vehicle. Um, obviously, it's the uh, front spoon uh, aero bumper. Yes. Um, also, a carbon fiber version of it. Yes. Is, is, is beautiful. It's beautiful. Now, what are those fog lights? These fog lights are a Japanese, um, a JDM uh, Honda access part. You can get them either uh, yellow or blue. Um, I actually had yellow on the white car. We wanted to go with blue, just obviously to keep the spoon theme um, on this build. Uh, another, another thing of note, um, so on this, this is the newer version, uh, essentially updated to handle the Honda sensing issue. It was one of my concerns when, when I went into the 2021 um, from the 2019 was whether or not the bumpers would work given with that Honda sense. Give, with the Honda sensing. So this does come with this panel you see here. And I made, just I wanted to be symmetrical. I actually made one out of um, black Lexan to match wow. on the opposite side. 
I didn't even notice that, but wow. It just, it just cleans up the look a little bit, in Absolutely. my opinion. Um, Absolutely. Wow, wow. So now we pretty much just touched the bases of the outside. Let's go ahead and roll into the engine bay. All right, so here's my favorite part under the hood. This is where I, I really, really gets me excited. And just off the rip, you see something. This, this might be kind of important. Is this your signature? Did you <laughs> sign your own valve cover? <laughs> no, it's not my signature. <laughs> that is uh, Mr. Ichishima-san's signature. So this is the founder of Spoon Sports, right? Yes, the recently and, retired founder, yes. Yeah, and um, I, he's definitely very passionate about what he does, and I can see that that passion has flowed over into you and with this car, and there's a whole list of things going on here. Um, we'll try and touch base on it. There's a lot of Spoon parts. There's a lot of other parts on here, too. Um, as he was saying, is Spoon makes a lot of stuff for it, but not everything, so he filled those gaps in with other stuff that's right at that same level. And um, first off, we have the beautiful valve cover. Um, these are tricky, I know, anyways, just to even put the bolts on because even tightening bolts on this can cause it to damage it. So that alone is frustrating. So that's a beautiful piece to get with the signature on it. That's awesome. And I know this is your newest acquisition onto this is the Spoon Sports um, turbo upgrade. Is that like a higher um, build? What's the difference with that turbo? So it's... My understanding is it's made by MHI, so okay. the same as the OEM. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a little bit bigger, and uh, like blades and whatnot. Correct. I mean, that's, yeah. that's. I'm not the most technical guy as far as that. Yeah. I know that it's definitely an upgrade. So it, it it allows more power. Absolutely. Probably the one thing I've noticed about Spoon bit. Sports is they like to keep horsepowers within the closest stock, but they like to change the power band to make things more efficient which is nice too. So you get a little bit more power, but it also brings your power band to where the car performs better on the track, which is, that's beautiful. We have that. Um, I know you have the, uh, the radiator, and she's a little hidden under here, but I've seen this radiator more exposed when we had the front bumper off. That thing is, oof, very, very beautiful. And uh, what, what other? Um... Well, another hidden jam, I would say, uh, is the throttle body. Oh, Sucked yeah. Sucked behind. I, it's, that was one of the other later items that I, because that came out after the 2019 car I had. So that's the Venturi um, throttle body? Awesome. Correct. Then we have um, a bunch of radium parts here. These are really nice. Radium goes out of their way to make everything very, very, uh, what's the word I should say? Fit and finish is very on point, like brackets, hardware. These are, um, they're two breather systems and a coolant reservoir, right? Correct. And then um, this right here kind of catches your eye a little bit. You can't buy this anywhere. My man over here took his time and hand polished this, knocked down all of the high points, um, sanded it down, and then polished it out to a nice mirror finish. And recently, on the other cold side hot um, pipe right over here, has this one hand polished as well. Very beautiful. And, and the other part that I really like is to go along with the turbo is the air gap heat shields. These things are really nice. This is more the newer edge of um, heat thermal protection on a lot of cars. I see a lot of people doing that. Um, also with the Euro covers here, these are always nice. You know, if you see these underneath, you just see all the way down inside the fender. So this gives it very nice aesthetics. The spoon oil cap, that's a must. And there's yes. some things you can't see, like axles. Yes. Spoon axles, that's pretty serious. Yeah, those, are, those are nice, right? Yeah, that was, that was actually the very last part yeah. that I did. And they waited about six months for those, because um, I believe they are actually hand, um, they're OEM. Yeah, but they are polished, and uh, they're and they're just in their hand assembled. Like it's a polished, balanced, and then hand assembled. Like at Type One. Yeah. And then they're and they're shipped over here to the U.S. And uh, what suspension is this car on? The suspension uh, right now it's it's just the Spoon Sport springs on the stock struts. Correct. Yeah, that's the best performance because this has the IDS uh, adjustable yes. suspension setting. So all that's still used, and those are nice. There, I know they're the blue ones. I've installed a couple sets mm -hmm. of those. They're really nice, and I know along with that, there's the um, the brake lines, brake pads, correct? Uh, along those lines, and there's that's all, so the zero bump steer kit. Oh yeah, what, what is that one about? It's the lower ball joint, and it it, it just I guess it's a little bit longer. Oh, it changes the geometry. So it changes the geometry yeah. to make it a little more proper for a lowered vehicle. And I know you also um, have the um, 
the dampener, um, what are those called inside the bumpers? Correct, the motion control beams. Yeah. Yes, those. That, that was when we told, pulled your bumpers off. Yeah. That was the thing that really caught me. I was like, is this a hydraulic dampener inside the car? Yeah, it's basically, cool. that, and that's what it is. So like you said, they, it's, it's two dampers, um, one in the front underneath the bumper, yeah. and then one in the back, like you're right by the, by the, uh, the rear beam. And they're just basically opposing, which is my understanding, it's meant to just control Flex. any kind of flex or like yeah. torsion. Yeah, in that's the pretty awesome. And I know this, is this the, the uh, Beat Rush or? Yes, Beat Rush. Okay, perfect. And I removed the decal. Yeah. Just to clean up the appearance of it a little bit. Samco hoses. Um, and technically, that, oh, and what do we have? We have the, uh, the Type 1 service interval for the oil change, right? Yes. These um, you can only get from Spoon Sports. They're specific to there. If you're lucky enough and they have them, when you go to Type 1, I know our buddy RJ, when he went there, he brought back two or three of them. He gave me one of them. I have one of them sitting down somewhere, but without it being filled out, I was like, oh, this is, no, that's pretty yeah, cool. That's so, they're very hard to come by. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool thing. That was way pre-COVID, I know, when that happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, underneath the hood here, and there's a bunch of other stuff we don't see. We have the lightweight battery over here and all the accompanying harnesses, brackets, and everything to go with it. There's really not one part that seems like you've overlooked. And, I think even inside here, there's a little bit of spoon yeah, there's, there's stuff, right? Spoon, well, there's a spoon filter yep. uh, made by uh, by Sprint Filter. And it's nice. I mean, it gives it a good sound and, of course, a little boost in... Uh, in the performance, yeah, too. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, and if, when you look things real close, there's stuff like the titanium hardware on the turbo. And not just on... It's turbo to manifold, manifold to downpipe. Everywhere where there could be a bolt replaced, it was upgraded and it really made things nice. I mean, we have titanium hardware here, even hardware where brackets used to go on the intake man, or excuse me, uh, valve cover, we have upgraded bolts there as well. So very nice. It looks like you've conquered everything and made it a complete package, which is nice. And the other part is you didn't go into it too far. The engine's not modified. The engine is internally stock. Mm -hmm. um, and that just makes it so that the car drives great too and everything brought together. So I think underneath the hood, that Congress, oh no, we have. So there's, there's also, well, so, yeah, I was so, gonna say there's more, right? There's a couple of things, well, in order, so to complement, and actually if you were to look at um, like the Spoon actual catalog from Japan, yeah, they even in their catalog sell the Honda fuel kit. Oh, they do, huh? And they also sell, yeah, they also sell the Flash Pro. Um, Specific for that. I think it's, again, I think it's basically pre-tuned to go, because they, they do not recommend you running the upgraded turbo without without that. without those items. Yeah, so that would be like back in the day, you would buy a spoon motor with their header and their intake system, and you would get the spoon computer that was tuned for that. Yes. So that's perfect. And um, exhaust-wise, um, what's that setup, downpipe and everything? So the downpipe is made by a company called uh, Dream Automotive. They're out of the UK. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the only catless downpipes that are still available. Yeah, catless downpipes are no longer really a thing that you can do in the yeah. United States, from what I'm saying. That's correct. It's not something very popular anymore. So that came from Dream Automotive. Um, and then the rest of the exhaust system is the Spoon N1. Front front pipe all the way back, right? Yeah, because their, yeah. their system actually comes with a front pipe. Yeah, we installed one, or I, I forget who... Yeah, and our buddy Kevin's car, and yes, I was like, oh, it came with the whole entire thing. That was, that was a pretty it's, nice setup. It's nice. It's very nice of them. And uh, your intercooler as well, I, I know that's, uh, is this, that upgraded? Yeah, the intercooler is upgraded as well. That's also from Dream Automotive. Um, and I went with the black one on this build just to make it a little more subtle. You had a polished one on the white one, right? I did. I had it yeah. ready, and I polished the end tanks. Yeah, I remember that. I just wanted a little more subtle look, I think. It fits the bumper with the black and the, and the yellow. Yeah, I just wanted to change it up on this build. Yeah, it's good. Now nah, it's not like it was before. And I know the most important part that we overlooked is it's the spoon sock. The spoon oh, yeah. sock on there. I mean, we can't miss that. <laughs> you know, that that's 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 the the crowning crowning moment of everything here. All right, so now on to the interior. There's a couple of really really special parts in here that the last time the car came to the shop, I was kind of nerding out over and now we get to talk about it a little bit. Um First off for me is the steering wheel setup. The steering wheel alone is pretty cool because that, that's got the same signature on it, it from underneath the hood. Sure does. And, uh, and it also, is this the uh, Bell Works Rapid? Or what is this? Yeah, the, the Works Bell Rapid. Works Bell, yeah. Um, the flip-up model, obviously. Yeah. And then this is pretty cool too. These are, uh, it's a kit to 
keep all of your factory uh, controls, right? Yes. And who so makes that? That's also made by Works Bell. Oh, perfect. Um, and yeah, it, it actually, again, it's maybe not for everyone, but I enjoy the convenience yeah. of still having all of the factory controls. Volume control, Especially cruise on a, control. on a long drive. I yeah. mean, it's, believe me, sometimes with little creature comforts, I don't mind. And on top of that, you those. know, this car is controlled through those controls, your cluster, your different settings. So when you lose that, you're really compromising. This, there's no compromise. And that's that's one thing that we all like a lot with, with the Acuron Classic thing. We don't like the compromise. So that kind of falls right into everything. And then um, the, the seats are one of the parts that really, just in general, when, when I first saw it, it kind of blew me away because it's the design. It's that look that, you know, when you see it, it's the spoon bucket and then when you look at it from the back and you see that they're Kevlar buckets and it like the level of it just goes up a little bit more and the, the fit and quality of the rails also is very, very pretty to have the polished side pieces and everything about it. And I know that these are adjustable for fitment left to right. I was looking at some of those, like there's a lot of adjustment on these seats to get it dialed in because buckets, they kind of sit the way they hit. They're not reclinable. They, they, yeah, they certainly do. But these, and honestly, this is actually, I was going to touch on that too. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had a few people ask me this question. They're actually pretty comfortable. I mean, mm -hmm. I've done the hundred plus mile trip down to, um, you know, your shop a yep. couple times. Yep. I've been back and forth to Orlando a couple times. And like I said, honestly, a two hour trip is, is, is not a problem with these. Very and yeah, you're nice. right. There is there's a good bit of adjustability. The uh, the actual base plates are made by um, PCI. Oh, I like them. They they do a lot of good work. It's really race heavy, car kind of quality. Super work. like heavy duty. Yeah, you know? and then the the mounts are and sliders are spoon. Correct. Those are okay. the spoon. Uh, they they call them the side stays. Side stays. Okay. And um, the other part that I really like about your car, and I um, I saw it when you had installed it and posted it up, is the shifter. What kind of shifter setup is that? It's made by CAE, a company in Germany. It looks very Euro, like with the release for the reverse lockout. Is that what that yeah, is they, on it? I know a lot of Subaru guys um, yeah. like those, a lot of BMW, Porsche. Yeah, I got this a lot more Euro. Yeah. Um, I think even making for a Mini Cooper. Yep. And I got to be honest, I mean, I, I had watched a couple reviews on it, and uh, it really is, the, the shifting is, is amazing. So that's a, that's... That's pretty serious. It's very nice. And then I know you said there's a couple other Alcantara and little things that some of the, they're yeah, pretty some, common with the FKA stuff, but aesthetically make the car a lot more pleasing for the driver, you know, not, well, that's what's important too. It really you know? is. I mean, again, small things, but it just continues, for me, it continues to look, um, you know, just for the whole console mm -hmm. to just have that same, you know, continued look of the Alcantara. Yeah, because uh, what the, the side pieces, they don't come Alcantara, right? No, yeah, not. so that's really nice. So it continues it on along there and uh for the most part that's that's where it is under inside the car and then i know uh moving back to the over here this is the part that uh this is the eye catcher when you're coming down the road when you pulled up here today this is what i saw i saw this this wing with the uh cantilever i believe that's what they is that what, or what do they call this uh well, I design. know I forget. a lot a, of people call it a swan neck. A swan neck, yeah, yeah. But on That's what it is. But Spoon, I've seen, I've seen a few videos, too. It's, it's a crane neck. The crane neck, it's yeah. for their logo. Yeah, as per the crane, yes. yeah. So just like... Basically just, right yeah, just there. like that decal. Yeah, that, so this thing, um, one thing we were talking about, and it's pretty specific, is Spoon is more race-inspired. Um, I know the Mugen is more of the, like fancier factory quality stuff but when it comes to spoon sports their stuff is designed to take it on the racetrack and drive it the front end maximum aero airflow mm -hmm. this wing when it comes it comes only in the resin it doesn't come clear coated just like when we do we did the bumpers this piece only came in a resin raw and you have to apply clear coat scuff it down um, they're very functional and more worried about performance, lightweight. Some spoon uh, carbon fiber products are see-through. They're so thin, the <laughs> lights behind it, you could see right through. I know these lips, when we had it on the bumper stand, you could see right through them. Yes. Um, but, so when it comes to this stuff, it's not just being able to get it, which is hard enough to do, and not just being able to afford it, which is hard enough to do as well, but the weight and the effort it takes to make the fit and quality 
Right, I know a lot of these parts you waited a long time for. I'm sure there's stuff that you've waited for since before you had your other car to get some things. And, yeah, it's, you know, it, that's, the, that's the hassle. And that's where yeah. I give you the credit because <laughs> I know it's, it's a labor of love and time and waiting and frustration and importing parts from the other side of the country that could or could not come damaged or not. And then you have to deal with that kind of stuff. Shipping is a pain in the butt for everyone right now. Cost has gone up and for you to be able to bring all these parts together and put it into a whole complete project, it's really, it's awesome. And I think the only way that you can top off something like that is by having the car certified and a beautiful badge on it that says, here's all my hard work and effort. And I think it, we're getting pretty close to that's what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna install this on the front of the car and you know, put the bow tie on this thing. Sounds good to me. Oh yeah. Okay, so now the moment of truth is here. Um, we have the placement of this. Um, if it looks like it's just simple holes into the uh, cow here to do it, it's not. There's been a lot of thought that's gone into this so that it's put in just the right spot. And now here's the moment where we're gonna put it in. It's held in with a couple of rivets and we're gonna pop rivet it in. So hopefully we don't mess this thing up. I don't think we can, it's just two things, so. <laughs> This is where you get to you get to do this part here. I'm gonna I'm gonna set these up. For Excellent, you. thank you. Yeah, it's pretty snug. I know. Usually, when it comes to rivets, I use the gun to, to push it in. Push it down the, the last little bit. Excellent. There you go. Oh yeah. One down. No stress. No stress. One down. <laughs> All right, there he is. Nine, 000, no, is it 9,193? Ooh, very satisfying. What do you think about that, Greg? I'm, I'm ecstatic. So now it's complete. This is the first FK8 certified LE, I would say, here in the country? Yes, it certainly is. It and is. Uh, it'll be the first one forever. That's you. That's pretty cool. We had a hand in it. It's very exciting. I know uh, Go Tuning was real excited about the whole situation. Everyone's been real happy about this. And it takes someone with your kind of dedication, effort to make something like this happen. And like we said before, it's not just being able to afford to do something like this, which is a hassle in itself, but it's being able to coordinate all the different people it takes to make it happen as far as body work, mechanical work, and shipping, waiting, patience, detailing everyone there's a part yeah, in all of it absolutely. and through all those people coming together you have the spoon certified with the badge with the signature and i'm just happy that we've been able to be part of it and do this and you know it's a pretty awesome thing i really appreciate you guys coming out too dude. absolutely absolutely yeah. Well guys, there you have it, just been us with Greg and definitely is a great opportunity, it's an honor, able to get his car on our channel. Yes, uh, we had a lot of experience with the bodywork on, I think Brian's channel, a little bit on our channel, but being able to be part of this moment for him, as someone who's put all the time, effort and money into the car to make it certified official, it was very nice for him to include us in that. I know we're proud to be part of it too. It is such a such an exclusive things to have, and and he worked so hard, and he deserved one hundred percent of it. Yeah, and just very happy that we were along for it. Very cool, cool Absolutely. guy, incredible car, very nice. Definitely get a shout out to Spoon USA. I mean, they definitely helped Greg and us along the way to help him to get to where he's at right now. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's not just being able to afford something; it's being able to acquire it 
That's patience. very hard. Patience and dedication to get Absolutely. stuff like that shipped around the world to you. It's very cool. And to have someone help facilitate it, like uh, go tuning and all of them. Yeah. It's very nice. Absolutely. Guys, we put all the link down description and this wrap up for this video. You guys like what you see, definitely consider to subscribe to your channel and don't forget to turn on the notification. Now my name is Mike. I got John right there. He's my chauffeur for the day. Oh yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week.